Hey guys, v Baddy with another V-Plays, and we're taking out the P-51H, the pinnacle of the P-51s, at the... Uh, I guess I should say it's the highest tiered uh, Mustang we got, but on top of that, we're also in a propeller-driven aircraft at tier 8. The reason that's kind of a, a, a low sigh for me is that you're going to find yourself getting outmatched in a lot of cases. When it comes to overall speed, a lot of aircraft are literally leaving you in the dust, and your 50 cal machine guns mounted in the wings feel less powerful yet again. So I'm actually going to head over to the command center. This is a break from my usual, uh, but I am going to F to that military facility over there because I do think the military facility is probably one of the more valuable sites, but I don't want to go there alone and have to dogfight against Bob R. Roberts over here in a specialized P-51H. And I am definitely suspecting that the JU-287 is going to also go to that same sector. Because, much like I just said, it is a smart place to go. It is a smart move. I do see a heavy up here. He is charging me, and he is launching them rockets. Let's uh, see what we can do here. This is where this aircraft really does well for itself, is being a heavy interceptor. But you'll see here, we really got to burn through our boost just to maintain chase on these jets. And that's one of the things that's always been nice about altitude fighters is you get a lot of speed. And I'm not saying that the P-51H isn't fast. I think it's plenty fast. But there's things like uh, you're going to be running into tier 9 jets that are just going to really start to amp up that velocity. Uh, and you'll see that when you get up against uh, last match there was a specialized attacker. I can't outpace him. I can't outturn him. Uh, and even though I have more altitude performance, he can push his, the limits of his aircraft and get me. Plus, he has four 20mm Hispano cannons. Uh, that is a tier apart, so I mean, I can't complain too much, but I definitely have to be wary of that. Oh, uh, yeah, we definitely need to go for the J7. No, he's gone. Perfect. Get these guns on target. That guy just took my kill. Ah, it's different when it's the enemy. I can say he stole my kill. That's a Yak-15, guys. We just did a ton of damage in that one pass. But we also want to get some distance. Because he will hurt us with those 20s. Looks like the Su-9 took him. And we got control of the airfield. I see that specialized aircraft. We gotta find that sweet spot to get these guns on target. And right here, we are we are keeping up with this tier nine jet. Oh, but it is a multi-roll. We are an altitude fighter, so we're pretty even. We should be relatively even keeled here. Where is? There's Roberts. All right, we're going after Roberts. We're gonna hit the boost cooler to get this climb going. This thing climbs really well. It'll surprise you. I've been chased down in a jet by this thing. There we got him, man. If we'd let him get behind us, we'd be in a lot of trouble. But here we are in the tail of a heavy defense aircraft, and we were able to do some decent work against him. And here's his brother in here. Let's uh, hit that rudder to kick the nose down a little bit. This is really just to keep the bombers and stuff safe coming into this zone. Uh, this battle is going to be a lot of trying to uh, counter cap that 287. So that was a good run right there. We're having much better luck than last match, but uh, as you can see, there's a lot of aircraft over at that facility. So we're going to go ahead and F2 that because I already want my heavies and I want my bombers heading over there. We'll even ping the map, let our ally know that's what we think it should be the next target. Uh, we're getting altitude because I don't want to be stuck in a tussle with a lot of these uh, multi-rolls and stuff. So I'm looking for opportunities to engage these aircraft. Yeah, I see it. Well, we got him at an altitude disadvantage here. 
Some good shots on target there, but we had to oh, nearly stop the aircraft to make it happen. We just got his wing, lit him on fire. That's the type of thing we expect with a high volume of fire machine guns. There we go. And that's just kind of on our way through the zone. Uh, where is that bomber at? I thought I saw him. Can do that. We got a human ground pounder here, but he's got a Su-9 on him, and if you guys remember from yesterday's video, the 215 just shredded ground attack aircraft, so now the Su-9 being the little brother of that airframe means it's equally dangerous to that poor guy. Got him. Yeah. I see you, Su-9. No! Oh, I fed him. I fed him, and I shouldn't have I also violated my own rule. You should always go for the enemy aircraft, not for the defense aircraft. Because if you go for the defense aircraft, um, they're... They're not as dangerous as the human-controlled aircraft is. Because the... or not human, uh, enemy aircraft is. Because the enemy aircraft is gonna be tier equivalent. Yeah, and now it looks like our ground attacker got taken out. Probably by the Su-9. I can't see the kill log over here, but... Oh, Roberts got taken out by AA. Might have bought us a little bit of time, but we need to get another one of these offensive zones. Would love to go after the airfield. It looks like our ground pounder might be making his way in there. This is by no means over. Yeah, that's the Su-9. Su-9's got a 45 millimeter cannon in the nose and an accompanying set of 20s, so he can really kick out a lot of damage. Uh, Su-9, let's not make the same mistake. Ooh. Got him in the zone. Oh, is this Roberts? No, it's a Yak-15. Okay. We just took his engine, I believe. Let's see what we can do here. That was a pretty good run in the front hemisphere here. A heavy storm here. Oh! <laughs> we do not have a lot of hit points left. Now I've got to be real cautious. So we are in squall line. I was down to 10 hit points. We don't have an engine. And we got a bunch of enemies inbound. So we're actually going to dip the nose just a little bit here and try and get some velocity back. There's our engine power coming back. See the bomber, but I don't want to be in his tail fire. I know what he's going to do to me. So the best we can do is call for somebody else to attack him. I see the Su-9 again. Let's see if we can make up for... Lo for oh, Jeez, he got that quick. No, 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 no. Okay. You lack maneuverability, I'm going to try and take advantage of that. We're on your six, that's where I want to be. We're going to keep our wings with his wings. Knocked him out. They don't have a lot of aircraft left, so let's get a wee bit aggressive here. Oh, he's going to be done. Oh, he's doing the rolling maneuver. We didn't take him out, but he's gone. Leave the ground pounders done. Man, that 287. Just a nasty, nasty plane. Oh, no, 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 no. Another one down. Another heavy. We're on the six of. Almost all enemy aircraft are 
Just this one. Just this one. And he just got knocked out by the bomber. Oh boy, that was a tough fight. That was a tough fight for sure. And you can tell our guys were definitely working, especially the IL-40. He's got a lot of good points scored up, but 7 Destroyer just was not able to clinch the victory. You know he worked hard for that, so that was a beautiful fight. Uh, we managed to just scrape by with a Wing Legend, and we were a tier below. Still working on specializing this aircraft. Uh, 7 Destroyer was actually on my team last match, and we ended up losing that one against Bob R. Roberts, uh, as well as against that specialized attacker. Man, it really stunk. Uh, but you could see, I even putting maximum effort in, I really felt like I was struggling. The guns do all right, but at this point, you're kind of getting sick of the wing-mounted weaponry just because everybody else is running a jet, so all their guns are pretty much centralized. Even the Yak-15 with its 223s are centrally mounted cannons. So, yeah, but we're making some good progress over here. We're at 91% towards specialization. We really focused on taking out multi-rolls and heavy aircraft. That's where the P-51 age kind of comes into its own. We didn't get the same type of damage numbers that we saw yesterday because we weren't going after bombers or anything. It's actually nearly a, what, uh, it's almost a third of what we had yesterday. So just not quite there, but we did do a lot of capturing and defending. You can see here, we contributed to capturing the three, well, two of the major sites. I guess I didn't get anything for the airfield, but uh, military base and then the command center twice. And we also picked up uh 540 capture points just from attacking and another 30 from defending so uh if it wasn't for that su-9 mistake i think we would have been in a much better state and not had to rely on a total attrition of the enemy forces but you know what it ended up working out anyways so hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video taking a look at the p-51h uh I do like the aircraft again, but I just feel like it's starting to fall short when you see all of the uh, jet aircraft that you're starting to come up against at this tier. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. And as always, I'll catch you on the next one.